ओके वी विल डिस्कसिंग कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फोर्सेस एंड फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स लेट्स सपोज अ सरफेस ए बी इज इंक्लाइंड एट एन एंगल थीटा विद एक्स एक्सिस एंड अ बॉडी ऑफ मैस एम इज मूविंग अलॉन्ग दिस सरफेस ए बी नाउ इन दिस केस आवर आवर रिक्वायर्ड सरफेस इज ए बी सो वी विल रिजोल्व हॉरिजन वी विल रिजोल्व कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ फोर्सेज अलॉन्ग दिस डायरेक्शन ए बी either we will have components of uh, forces which are parallel to this direction ab or we can have uh, components of forces which are perpendicular which are perpendicular to this direction ab so we will start resolving components of forces along this direction ab first of all we can see that weight is always downward and we can see that this angle is 90 minus theta now this force w it is making an angle 90 minus theta with this with this surface ab and we know that the x component or horizontal components of any force is cos theta and uh, the vertical component of uh, any force is sin theta we have done this thing in our last video in uh, the resolution of uh, forces we know that this is x component of force and this is y component of force but we can see that uh, in this scenario this force w is making an angle 90 minus theta so we will have uh, 90 minus theta and this will become 90 minus theta so we know that cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta and sin 90 minus theta is always equal to the uh, cos theta so the horizontal component will become w sin theta and the vertical component of weight is w cos theta so this is vertical component of weight this will become w cos theta and this is horizontal component of weight this will be w sin theta okay now uh, let's suppose we are dragging this body of mass m towards this point b with a force f and if we drag this force towards point b there will be a frictional force opposite to the this applied force so let's suppose this is a frictional force and we know that uh, there will be a reaction force which is opposite to the weight and perpendicular to the direction of movement of this body so this will be the direction of uh, normal force okay now we will differentiate these two forces the parallel force and uh, perpendicular force if this body is in the state of equilibrium then we can say that uh, the sum of uh, horizontal forces and uh, sum of vertical forces will be equal to zero so if you talk about parallel forces it means the forces acting parallel to the direction of movement ab and if we talk about uh, the perpendicular forces it means the forces acting perpendicular to the to this direction ab so if we talk about uh, the parallel forces f will be equal to f plus w sin theta because these two forces frictional force and uh, parallel component of weight these two forces are opposite to the applied force and if you talk about the perpendicular forces uh, we know that r will be equal to w cos theta these two forces are opposite to each other and these two forces are perpendicular to this direction ab now in this case the applied force f is working right along the direction ab but look at another scenario that a surface ab is inclined at an angle theta and the applied force 
is also inclined at an angle alpha with this surface AD and uh, we will see that uh, what will we have in case of uh, parallel or perpendicular components of forces in this scenario okay first of all we can resolve uh, the parallel and uh, perpendicular components of weight this is perpendicular component of weight this will be equal to w cos theta we have seen in this case and this will be equal to w sin theta these are the components of uh, weight and we can also resolve parallel and perpendicular components of this force f we have seen in our last video how can we resolve a force into its parallel and perpendicular components uh, the parallel component of this force will be f cos alpha and the perpendicular component of this force will be f sin alpha okay and uh, you know that if let's assume that this body is moving towards b then the frictional force will be opposite to this movement plus we have uh, a reaction force which is perpendicular to this surface ab now in this case uh, if we talk about parallel forces the forces acting parallel to the direction of movement these are parallel forces that this force f cos alpha will be equal to f plus w sin theta because these these two forces the frictional force and uh, parallel component of weight is opposite to this force f cos alpha which is horizontal or parallel component of this force f and if we talk about the perpendicular components of forces we will have uh, r plus f sine this is alpha not theta r plus f sine alpha will be equal to w cos theta so in this way we will resolve forces into their components in our problems related to forces and equilibrium now there is another case that in this case we were pulling this body we were pulling this body of mass m with this force f but in this case we are not pulling this body we are pushing this body with force f we are pushing this body with the force f and this f is making an angle alpha uh, with the horizontal force with the horizontal surface ab okay now in this case we have same uh, components for weight this is vertical uh, uh, this is perpendicular or vertical component of weight w cos theta and this is w sin theta and we have a force of friction the normal force but <clears throat> in this case this force was going upward like this force was moving along positive x axis and positive y axis but look at this force this force is coming downward if we see this force with respect to this surface ab this force is coming downward it means that this force is moving along positive x axis but if you talk about y axis this force is moving along negative y axis because it for this force is coming downward so uh, its horizontal component uh, will remain same the horizontal component will be f cos alpha but its vertical component will be downward like this f sin alpha because this force is moving downward so there is a difference between this case and this case and the only difference is the vertical component of this force f the vertical component of this force f will be different for both cases and all remaining components all remaining forces will be same for both cases the vertical component of applied force f will be upward in this case and vertical component of applied force f will be downward in this case now we can uh, resolve these two forces into parallel and perpendicular components yeah. to talk about uh, the sum of forces which are parallel to this direction the direction of uh, motion we will have uh, f cos alpha will be equal to f plus w sin theta you can see that there is no change in parallel components of forces 
and if you talk about the perpendicular components we will have uh, f cos alpha we will have r will be equal to f sin alpha plus w cos theta okay we will solve <coughs> some examples <coughs> related to these concepts in our next video